Hello, B1 family, and welcome back to the YouTube channel, The Big Black American Secret. My name is Daniel Jackson. Today, I want to talk to you about approximately two things. Um, what I've learned about how most black people worldwide are responding to uh, the death of Queen Elizabeth <coughs> and how disturbing it is, to be honest, quite frankly, um, disturbing it is the mindsets of, 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 of melanated people around the world. Um, we'll talk about that. And I also want to talk about the, um, a lot of people are calling it the purge. Technically, um, starting January 1st, 2003, Illinois uh, is going to eliminate cash bonds for a good number of offenses okay so i want to touch on those two things real quick uh but before i get into that i want you to read i want to read the goal of the channel and i'm sorry um the name of the youtube channel is called the big black american secret the goal of this channel is to one destroy the system of racism white supremacy and replace it with the system of freedom justice and equality i'm going to read the goal of the channel in a minute but the big black American secret is you are an Aboriginal American. You're not the descendant of West African slave. I just want to put that out there straight up out front <clears throat> so that you'll know. If you have not subscribed to this channel, take this minute, subscribe, hit the bell, and like. Uh, also, um, there's a bell icon that you hit that you're notified when I go live or make another video. But the goal of this channel is to build an unstoppable army of knowledgeable black melanated people in America and around the world that understand that we as melanated people have one enemy worldwide. That enemy is a system of white supremacy. Our mission through education is to replace this evil system with a system of freedom, justice, and equality as laid out by Dr. Francis Cress Wilson. We will need your help in building this knowledgeable army. You can help by subscribing to this channel, by donating to this cause through Cash App or PayPal, and by sharing the videos you watch here and any knowledge that is shared. In doing so together, we help fertilize the mentally enslaved, colonized minds of black melanated people worldwide, creating the perfect mental conditions for our children to grow up in a better, more balanced uh, world. Dr. Francis Cress Wilson's video will be in the description. Um, every melanated person on the planet need to watch that video. It is so important. And these two topics that I'm talking about are are related. They're related in the, in the sense that it, it, it gives us a good glimpse into the mind of colonized people worldwide. <laughs> you know, and um, <clears throat> when I say colonized, um, well, what colonization means is uh, some people came from where they were, came, went to another place and took it over. <laughs> that what colonization is. But um, after 1859, when we moved away from the system of European domination into the system of white supremacy, I talk about that in, in a couple of my videos. Again, please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, and uh, hit all so that you're notified when I go live or make another video. When, when we moved out of um, the system of European domination and again into the system of racism, white supremacy, which took place after Charles Darwin wrote that racist book uh, dealing with... Uh, the origin of the species and natural selection again in 1859 and and again i got a couple of videos that talks about that but anyway in the system of racism white supremacy melanated people are from birth taught to themselves be white supremacists you know we we most people don't think about it like that at all <laughs> matter of fact we 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 have not been allowed to look at it on those terms, but black people being white supremacists is kind of one of the tricks of the system of racism, white supremacy. Um, and I'll give you an example of just a quick example before I get into it. 
um, if, if, if something happens, let's say on your job, and um, you being a black person, and then you have another black person there, and your, 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 the people who own the business and manage the business as well, um, Daniel, um, Tyrone is not offended by what I just said, and, and both of you guys are black, so this can't be racist, you know. What people don't understand in that instance, Tyrone, <laughs> he ain't black. He just black looking. You understand what I'm saying? He is a white supremacist. He thinks like white people. You understand what I'm saying? And a lot of us, again, we're all programmed to think like white people or racist white people. <laughs> the public school systems, hell, even private school systems, religion, um, movies, newspaper articles, cartoons, everything is designed around the code of white supremacy. Everything. These people don't get together once or twice a year and have a big meeting and say, hey, how are we going to screw black people? That's not how it happens. Um, they all have latched on to the false idea that because white people are white skinned it they are genetically superior which is completely 100% false in fact it's just the opposite I talk about that again on another one of my videos won't get into it on this one but um, when Queen Elizabeth died a good number of black people worldwide were in mourning or sad you know oh my god this this woman who, who, who's, you know, been around forever and ain't really done nothing <laughs> for people. From what I can see in my um, research, um, anything positive, especially for melanated people, but she's mourned, and here's why. I did some, some research, Now I'll turn my camera around in a minute, but um, the British Empire is... in control of a lot of different countries um i'm i'm, a, I'm i got something pulled up on the screen here and i'm just gonna read it. it and i looked up commonwealth of nations right british commonwealth countries and on the screen it's a lot of flags matter of fact i'll just turn my, my camera around so you can see some of them You know, you got United Kingdom, where's my finger? Uh, Nigeria, Australia, South Africa, Kenya. <clears throat> it's a lot of them. In fact, I, when you go down to um, the bottom here, and it says, of the 41 member states of the Commonwealth, 36 are republic, while the remaining five have their own monarchs. And so I, I was curious to, 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 to get an idea of what what commonwealth meant. So I, I looked up the definition of British Commonwealth. In association of nations consisting of the United Kingdom and several formal British colonies that are now sovereign states, but still pay allegiance to the British crown. So what does that mean? It means that these countries all over the world are... When it says pay allegiance, that means financially Britain is being supplemented by that country financially in a huge way um, through the siphoning of their resources, raw materials, and you name it. Um, and, and it's a very lopsided relationship. It's, it's colonization. It's slavery. But it's it's very slick slavery. You understand what I'm saying? It's it, it's it's equivalent to when Abraham Lincoln uh, emancipated slavery here in America. Emancipation doesn't mean you get rid of something. It means it changes forms. You understand? Uh, chattel slavery and indentured servitude transformed into work 
pretty much what you do now. You work nine to five. You understand what I'm saying? You became the, instead of the property of individual people, slave owners, you became the property of the United States of America. You understand what I'm saying? And I know nobody has probably ever explained that to you, but that's a fact. You can Google that. Um, you know, so um, I said all that to, to say this. Most foreign people you're going to meet, especially from those areas, they hold Queen Elizabeth in high esteem because when she comes to their country, she is their queen. She is considered the queen of, let's look at some of these places. When she goes to India, she is the queen of India. When she goes to Botswana, she is the queen of Botswana. When she goes to Tanzania, she is the queen of Tanzania, Jamaica, Grenada, Guyana, Belize. She is the queen. These people see her as the queen because that's her title in their country. These people are sovereign on their own soil, but they bow to a foreigner as their queen. Um, you understand? So as far as colonization goes and... Um, how that messes with the, the, the very mind of the black individual is, is incredible. Um, and it's very sick. It's very sick. The, that family has murdered, raped, robbed all of these continents, all of these um, countries, I mean. But these people love the queen. That's because they have not been educated on the system of racism, white supremacy, and colonization. They have been trained like we all have been trained to love our country. You understand what I'm saying? When the when when you you know uh, we pledge allegiance to the flag here in America, and we're taught at a very early age um, to 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 have pride in your country. When when the people who you're paying allegiance to were your slave owners. One of the murderers of your family members going way back. But again, they took us all in very young, put us in these schools, gave us education. And education is simply indoctrination. You understand? If you ever get a chance to educate your own children at home, very important. You know, you, we have to understand that we're handing over our most precious jewels, <laughs> our children. That's our lineage to our enemies, to the very people who murdered, raped, and robbed your grandparents, your great-grandparents, their parents before them. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, people, you are Aboriginal Americans. You are the so-called Indians in our history books. You are, in fact, the red man. Look at you. You are brownish red. Subscribe to my channel, hit the bell, and you'll, you'll realize what I'm telling you is 100% true. This one cent copper penny is damn near identical to the, to the color of the back of my hand. And the definition of the color of copper is a brownish red. It's a brownish red color. You know, I challenge you to go to Walmart tomorrow or any place where it's a lot of black people in, 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 in one place at one time and look around. You're going to see that your people are a reddish brown color. You are the red man in the history books. It is not the Mongolian breed of Asian. Those people are from Asia. They're Eskimos. Um, again, I go through all of that in my other video. I, I, this video ain't about that. But again, the name of the channel is The Big Black American Secret. That secret is you are an Aboriginal American. You are not the descendant of West African slaves. In fact, the transatlantic slave trade was not only told to us in reverse. It was a cover story for the slave trade that took place here. And that slave trade was called the International Indigenous American Slave Trade. Okay, and it started with Christopher Columbus in 1492, um, given a stamp of approval by the uh, Roman Catholic Church in 1493. Um, again, I go through all that in another video. Uh, you know, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell and hit all. Okay, now, um, these people are very saddened that Queen Elizabeth uh, has died because they have been trained to love her. 
and to love their enslaver. That's what colonization is. That's what the system of racism, white supremacy does to the very black mind. Now, um, I liken that response, you know, it's comparative to the response of the other thing I'm going to talk about right now, which is in Illinois, starting next year, January 1st, they're going to do away with cash bonds um, for certain offenses. Now, I'm going to go through that, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to show to you in this video that you too in America have been colonized and are a white supremacist. Um, and th we're, to some extent, a the black American is special. We are, we, we have our coons, you know, we have our people who are very colonized, people like um, the, the black guy on the Supreme Court, Clarence Thomas, uh, Candace Owens, Officer Tatum, these, these type of individuals. These are what you call, <laughs> these are black people who really stand out as far as being mentally colonized. You understand when you watch and you listen to them, it, it give me a headache. Some of these people, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, they are, they, they are far to the left <laughs> and they thinking and they, they ain't ashamed of it. And I wish they were more ashamed, but anyway, I'll get back. I'm get away from that for a minute. But anyway, long story short, what I have uh, been witnessing for the last few days, listening to people talk about this Queen Elizabeth situation and, um, the uh, laws changing in Illinois starting in the first have been stark comparisons because a lot of black people, if not the majority of black people, see this as, as something very negative that's going to take place in Illinois uh, starting in January. Now, I'm different. I'm, 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 I'm actually polar opposite. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to tell you why. The, the cash bond system has always been racist. Has always been racist against black people, disguised. Uh, not only not only racist, but unconstitutional. And here's why: um, we are supposedly innocent until proven guilty. When you have been charged with something, you have not been convicted of it. You haven't had your day in court. You are only um, charged with it. Somebody just says, "Hey, I think you robbed a grocery store." So if you don't have any money to, to bond out, then you have to sit in jail for God knows how long until your court date. A lot of people, innocent people, have lost jobs, have lost families. Some people even lost their lives in jail waiting for a court date. It's been very unconstitutional. And therefore, it, it, has, it never should have been in... in it, it never should have taken place anyway, but because of racism and greed, the system was allowed to take place, disguised as just, you know, financial. But it always was an undercover way of putting black folks in jail. I hope that makes sense to you. Okay, now I'm going to play a couple of short videos in this video, and I'm leaning on fair use. This is for educational purposes only. So that you get a better idea of what I'm what I'm trying to show you, okay? So uh, let me let me get this set up a little bit here. Yeah. All right. So, and a lot of you all have probably seen this video floating around on YouTube. Um, you know, I may talk a little bit during the video here, there, we'll see. But again, I really want my people to understand to not be afraid of one, each other. And two, we have to understand the system of racism, white supremacy, so that we stop falling for the okie doke. Dr. Francis Chris Wilson's video will be in the description, and I highly recommend everyone that is melanated watch that video. 
Okay, so I'm gonna play this so you get it kind of caught up to what's 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 figure to take. As place. of January first, twenty twenty three, the following things will go into effect, and people need to be aware of this. It abolishes cash bail for almost every offense. This includes, but isn't limited to, kidnapping, armed robbery, second degree murder, drug induced homicide, aggravated DUI, threatening a public official, and aggravated fleeing and eluding. Offenders released on electronic monitoring have to be in violation for 48 hours before law enforcement can act. They could almost drive to Alaska before we can even look for them. It denies victims their constitutional rights. And keep this in mind, businesses and homeowners, officers will no longer be able to remove trespassers from your resident, residence or your businesses. Someone could decide to live in your shed and all we can do is give them a ticket. You have to decide what level of force is required to remove them and whether or not it's legal. This is a massive threat to the residents of Oil Park, Cook County, and Illinois. Okay, um, I'm going to play the other video and then I'm going to go into some details about what's really going on, okay? According to the Illinois Courts website, the cash bail system wasn't created to keep someone locked up for months or years until their trial. Instead, a money bond is to ensure that the defendant makes all of their court appearances after being arrested, charged, and released. But it's become a heated issue on what's considered constitutional. Spending unexpected time behind bars before a trial, a reality for thousands of people. Cash bail, a system created to make sure detainees appear in court for trial. But the problem for many is paying bail to be released. Money bond is not actually about one's safety. Money bond stands at this intersection of being poor, poor and black, being poor, black and a woman. The Illinois General Assembly passing House Bill 3653 earlier this month. The Pre-Trial Fairness Act would eliminate money bonds in Illinois by 2023. Illinois State Senator Robert Peters says the current cash bail system reinforces the idea that if you are poor, you are assumed to be more dangerous. If the conversation is around safety, then knowing that if you have money, that you have the privilege to be free, isn't actually a judgment on whether a person or a community is safe. It's only a judgment on whether you are rich enough to do what you want. But some law enforcement pushing back, saying scrapping the bail system risks the safety of Illinoisans. In this letter to the governor, Tazewell County Sheriff Jeffrey Lauer doesn't want to eliminate cash bail. Lauer wrote, quote, without bail, many dangerous offenders will walk free within hours of their arrest. We're going to find that it's going to be more dangerous moving forward because the accountability is not going to be there. The director of the Illinois Justice Project disagrees with Sheriff Lauer, saying the Pre-Trial Fairness Act will prevent people accused of nonviolent crimes who can't afford bail from sitting in jail until their trial. Judges still have the ability to make decisions uh, in cases where uh, there is a uh, somebody charged with a uh, with a qualifying offense. Some of those qualifying offenses, domestic battery, murder, and certain gun crimes would keep defendants behind bars. Reporting in Pekin, I'm Brittany Clemens. All right. Now, a lot of black people are freaking out be behind this because they're saying, hey, these people are convicted murderers and robbers and, you know, killers, and they're going to be just let out of jail. No, that ain't what that ain't what they say at all. These people have simply been charged with an offense. When you're charged with offense, don't mean you actually did it. You understand what I'm saying? In, in, in this country, we are innocent until proven guilty. <laughs> we need our day in court. You understand what I'm saying? So 
that alone lets you know that most black people being afraid of that, being afraid to actually have the, 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 the law not violate your constitutional right, it lets you know that black people see other black people, their own brothers and sisters as criminals, just like white supremacists. Therefore, we are white supremacists. Um, and it's scary. It's really scary. Now, don't get me wrong. Some people I probably do need to be kept in jail. But again, that's not the law. Never have been a law. It's innocent until proven guilty. And there are more innocent people that they accuse of shit every day. You know, and, and again, these things have, have broken up families, have caused people their jobs and their lives. It never should have been in place in the beginning with. So I, I want you, I want to challenge you all to not be white supremacists, to watch Dr. Francis Cress, uh, Dr. Franz Cress Wilson's video in the description. You understand what I'm saying? Because our children and our children's children need to understand how fucked up we have been and are being programmed every day. We have to step out of this system. And the only way to do that is to know what's really going on. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm so glad all of this is taking place so that it gives me opportunities to talk to my people, to say, hey, you know, I know you think this is what's going on, but that ain't what's going on. This is what's going on. Now, getting back to this, this thing that's going to take place in Illinois. Now, there's a, there's a, there's a bunch of moving parts. Um, technically, this is a good thing. No state should be locking people up because they don't have money. You know what I'm saying? To me, that's just wrong. Um, so, to me, that's a good thing. It is a great thing. Now, white supremacy always takes both sides of an argument. Some of you have probably heard that. But what does it mean? That means that you always have to look at this thing to see where the white supremacist element is. A few years back, I want to say when Bill Clinton was uh, running for office the second time, might have even been the first go round. Um, white people weren't really sure where he stood on, I'm gonna say this, on crime. That's code word for black folks. You understand what I'm saying? When a president or somebody running for office said we're gonna get tough on crime, they really mean tough on black folks, right? So what um, these people did, and it is documented, I didn't have time to find it, but they allowed, about a year before the, the election, they allowed a, um, a black inmate to be released. And this guy, I think, was in there for either murder or attempted murder. So they created a technicality where they let him out of jail. And in my humble opinion, they created the circumstances to where... He, uh, I think, I think he killed someone else while he was out, right? So they used that instance to crack down and get tougher on the laws. You see what I'm saying? So Illinois could be a, a this very same thing. Biden is he ain't got a he ain't got a his chances ain't looking too good on on being reelected. He needs to ensure white people that he can be tough on crime that's almost the last thing he got to, to 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 go on you understand what i'm saying so in in illinois after january 1st if a few people who was supposed to be held on bond or are released because they fall under this new law and they go out and they commit murder then biden can go in and reverse this thing saying hey I'm tough on crime. You see, I saw a problem and I fixed it. We got to keep these niggers in place. You understand what I'm saying? That could be what's going on here as well. So we need to keep an eye on that because that very well could be happening. Again, white supremacy always takes both sides of an argument. And if black people are freaked out by this, guess who else is even more freaked out by it? White people. So people are calling this the purge. And here's why they're saying that. Um... In, in a lot of states now, they've made some changes, you know, I think in um, New York and California, I could be wrong about that, but, you know, open carry has been a thing that they're allowing people to carry, and they haven't done this for your benefit or mine, you know, not black people's benefit, no, it's for white people. They, it, it, legally, 
now people have the right to stand their ground. So if their lives are at, they feel threatened, they could legally kill as a lot of black people and get away with it. You understand? What I mean? So that's what they mean by the purge. And that 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 that, that, that very much can be what's being set up. That's why we must know the system of racism, white supremacy. That's why black people need to be armed. You need to teach your children self, I mean, um, you need to, um, to, to, to learn gun safety and how to shoot and make sure everybody in your family understands gun safety and how to shoot. Because again, it's up to us to protect us. Because it's not the police job to do that. Their job is not to serve and protect citizens. Their job is to serve and protect property and property owners. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? Okay. Um, you know, it's very important that we understand what's really going on. And for black people, for us to understand what's really, really going on, we have to understand the system of racism, white supremacy. Dr. Francis Cress Wilson's video is in the description. Please, please, I urge you to force yourself to watch that video. Now, if you're a coon or you're more white supremacist than most, it's going to be very hard for you to do that. Hell, listening to me talk about this is probably killing you if that's who you are. And that's okay, too. You understand what I'm saying? Because a lot of us are the, have this stuff in us and we don't even know it. You understand what I'm saying? And that's good that um, we live in a time now where people can talk about these things intelligent. You understand? I know me personally younger i was clueless about the system of racism white supremacy i didn't even understand any of this stuff you know what i'm saying i was clueless and a lot of you all are clueless too but the reality is you're being negatively affected every day on your job through the, the media almost every avenue of, of human activity is negatively affecting you but you don't know it you just think you're under some kind of stress. It's just life is so stressful, stressful. And it seems that way. It's invisible because you don't know about it. That's why you have been directed to this channel. So congratulations for being here. Um, again, subscribe, hit the bell and hit all so that you're notified when I make a, another video go live. Um, I choose not to allow, well, Again, the goal of this channel is to destroy the system of racism, white supremacy, and replace it with the system of uh, freedom, justice, and equality. And I'm going to destroy this system with your help in my lifetime. I will not be passing this on to my children. That's how strong my conviction is for this. And I'm going to need your help to do that. How, how do you help me? You watch that video. You start to understand things for what they are. And then you perhaps create a YouTube channel. Talk to your children. Um, you know, but first you must understand the system of racism, white supremacy. You must. You must. You know, um, while you're learning this thing, I'm going to just need you to do a few things. Um, don't talk to a whole lot of people about the stuff you're learning because they're not going to understand what you're talking about initially. You're going to be excited. And you're going to want to talk to people about it. And I'm, I've been there. That's why I can tell you what I'm trying to tell you. But just observe. Learn right now and observe. Make mental notes. Make physical notes. You know what I'm saying? But don't tip your hand too quickly. Again, um, you are being abducted into this army. And your job in this army is to, when you get comfortable and you understand enough is to for one do your own genealogy learn who you are talk to your oldest living relatives um, genealogy means go into your paper documents birth certificates marriage certificates union records church records of your relatives going back back as far as you can so that you can talk intelligently about who you really are and then once you you you, you come to a better understanding then you start to broadcast out the information that you know and you learn. You understand what I'm saying? It's that simple. In any war, because that's what we are in, we are in a war, you need bodies. You need people on your side of the of the field. You understand what I'm saying? You know, so 
uh, it's very important what's taking place, you know, and um, you need to be a part of it. Okay, so I don't want you all to freak out about this Illinois thing, but just be be observant, be vigilant, and just know that they never should have they never should have bond cash bond systems to begin with because it's unconstitutional. We are innocent until proven guilty. But how they get around that is they say, oh, well, we're not we're not saying that you're guilty. No, no, no. You're, you know, you're just being charged. You're not convicted. But what we're saying is we want you to show up to court. So in order for you to do that, we need some kind of collateral, a cash bond so that you can come to, so that you will come to court. No, that's illegal. My financial circumstance should not prevent me from being free. That is kidnap. That is unconstitutional, to say the least. You understand what I'm saying? It never should have even been there. Never. So uh, we as melanated people, Aboriginal Americans, the only true Americans, we need to understand that and, and, and move in that direction for every state. We're not animals. I know that you think what you think, but I'm telling you what I know. We have been taught to be fearful of each other. We have been taught to be suspicious of each other. We have been taught to believe that we are criminals. Or the people around us are criminals. You understand what I'm saying? We don't see... When you look in the mirror, you don't see a criminal. You see yourself as a decent person. You're here. You, you hold yourself in high esteem, but you hold your people in low esteem. That makes you a white supremacist. You need to be right here. You need to have, um, see yourself the same way you see your people. You understand what I'm saying? You can't be like this. That makes you unbalanced. And that's dangerous for our side of the board. Okay? If, you, if you're here, you're more balanced. You, you need to understand that the black American is a special person. A very powerful person. Hold Hold our group in high esteem. That's our code. We're B1. Black first means our skin is our uniform. You understand what I'm saying? We are not criminal. We're not criminals at all. We are a special group of people. We have been mentally programmed to believe like white people believe. And white people think very low of black people because of the system of racism, white supremacy, okay? Uh, again, hit the bell, hit all, um, and um, so that you're notified when I go live and make another video. Uh, if, you, if you feel comfortable enough, and if you've been following me long enough, then share this video out. When you're brand new and this stuff is new to you and it's combating your old programming, you're not gonna feel comfortable sharing it, and that's fine. It's right now, it's for your own education. Yeah, I said education. <laughs> it's for your education. But you'll come to a point to where you'll, you'll understand that what I'm saying is true. And then you'll start to share it out. I, I hope that time is quicker than not. And um, because, again, we have work to do. Our children should not have to go through what we've been going through. And with your help, they won't. Be strong, be brave, and be proud that you're an Aboriginal American. On that note, I'm going to end this um, video. Be one.